Hi folks, Tony at Travel Scoot again by popular demand. No. Uh, today we're just going to show you how to remove and replace the front wheel on our wide fork front wheel assembly, which is now standard equipment on every Travel Scoot Deluxe. This is very similar to the old uh, Travel Scoot with the skinnier front wheel and totally comparable to replacing the right rear wheel on any given Travel Scoot frame. We're just going to take our two 5mm Allen wrenches. We're going to insert one on this side and the other one on the opposite side. And you have the same type of axle. The axle shaft is nothing more than a solid rod with two holes with hole tapped into each end, uh, drilled into each end and tapped for the bolts. Hold one end and turn. And whichever screw comes out, in this case it's on my right side, your left, remove that and remove the seat, not the seat spacers, the spacers. And okay, good. It took us a little while to find a shaft that would bind a little bit, but uh, the way you then remove the rest of it is by inserting. We do have better tools than this, but uh, not everybody has a set of drift punches, so we're gonna use the screwdriver. And you don't have to be too cautious. And as you can tell, in this case, one of the bearings is being tapped out with the axle shaft. Don't let that bother you. Just go ahead and tap that puppy out. We'll help you reinstall that. I'm actually going to support the bottom of the fork with my hand a little bit. Remove the fork, you'll also have lost the bushing. Now, in this case, the bearing is still in place, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it the rest of the way, carefully. And that'll reveal this internal spacer that is placed in here to help avoid compressing, uh, compressing the plastic wheel assembly. The bearings are a snug fit, but they're not a typical tight press fit, so they can be installed by hand and tapped into place lightly. Now when it comes time to reinstalling, you're going to have a bit of an issue getting that inner spacer realigned. You can use a screwdriver or, you know, the, the screwdriver you use to tap out the axle shaft in the first place or any kind of um, longer item to try to get it lined up somewhat. And then what you'll do is, or the way I'll do it, is I'll set the wheel in place. Then I'll take one of the spacers, set it on top of the bearing, and line it up with the hole in the fork. Uh, just a quick tip. Sometimes, particularly after use, the edges or the very ends of the axle shaft might become a little sharp and grab. You can use a little sandpaper, maybe even a file, to gently smooth off that edge. I'm gonna take a shot here without doing any of that stuff because this is a new one. And it goes through the fork and the bushing okay. Now we'll Try to guide it through the bearing. You do not want to hit the bolt head so hard that you, it's called peening, you peen the hex shut so that your Allen wrench no longer fits. And you also want to avoid applying too much pressure to the bearing inner or outer race, as it's called. That could potentially damage the bearing if it's uh, if it's roughed around too much. It will take a little bit of pounding, but uh, you do need to be careful. Okay, in this case, you can see here, we've got the bearing on this side driven out. We're just gonna make sure it stays aligned, and we're gonna tap gently. And if it's not moving, that means that we've contacted the inner spacer, which you can see here. So this might be a little hard for Kevin to film, but we're going to reach in here 
with our screwdriver to help realign these a bit. And that's what happens then. Okay, so we're still doing with the bearing. I'm going to go tap that in a little bit. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the fork on top. This is a bit of a nuisance, but Okay, what we need to do now, that's why I have these two wood blocks lying here, is we're going to lay the uh, assembly on here so we don't mar things too badly. Flip it over again and I'm going to punch it through a little further. Okay, now we still need to get this spacer in here, so we actually need to tap the shaft out a tiny bit. Line it up, face it down. I'm aligned with the axle, or rather with the axle with the uh, spacer and fork. And I'm smacking the spacer, it keeps sliding on me. Let's just stick in, stick in the screwdriver to help align it. Nope, still didn't want to do it. Bear with me here for a second. There we go. Okay, now it's through. Okay, and now we've got it aligned. You don't have to tap it in the rest of the way. You can see that the bolt will engage the axle shaft. Now, insert your two Allen wrenches. And of course, this one's the loose one. So as you turn it and hold the other one, you'll see that the axle shaft pulls into place. It popped loose there. That's just when it slipped into the fork. Let me get back in here. Snug it up. And give it a quick spin. Make sure that uh, nothing rattles around or it doesn't wobble. And that's all there to uh, all there's to that. So uh, thank you very much for watching and happy scooting.